Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Routing Information Protocol, otherwise known as RIP. We're going to be taking a look at RIP version 2 in this lab. Specifically within RIP version 2, we are going to be taking a look at how to tune RIP version 2 timers over non-broadcast networks, and then we're also going to look at triggered updates. So as you can see, our network topology is pretty simple. We have two routers, router 1 and router 2, and they are connected to each other via the frame relay switch. If we go into the frame relay switch, I can show you the configuration is pretty basic. We have two ports, port 1 and port 2. Port 1 is assigned DELC 102 and port 2 is, is assigned DELC 201. So if we can go ahead and write this down on our network diagram to, so that we remember. Again, DELC 201 is on the router 2 side and then DELC 102 is on the router 1 side. So again, this is the BIP version 2 domain, which includes router 1 and router 2, and the IP address connecting, or the subnet mask connecting router 1 and 2 is the 172.16.12.0 slash 24 subnet. We also have a, a loopback 0 interface on both router 1 and 2. Router 1's loopback 0 is 1.1.1.1 slash 24. Router 2's loopback 0 interface is 2.2.2.2 slash 24. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at, again, we're going to take a look at the RIP version 2 timers over a non-broadcast network type. In this case, we are using frame relay. And then we're going to end the lab looking at RIP version 2 triggered updates. Let me go ahead and just change this just to make sure we have this correct. It should be triggered updates. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into router 1 and 2. We're going to just set up basic reachability and then we're going to go and enable RIP version 2 and then get into the RIP version 2 timers and triggered updates. So this shouldn't take us but a minute. RIP version one's pretty easy. I'm sorry, RIP version two pretty easy to set up. We'll go and set up our loopback interface on R1. Give it the IP address 1.1.1.1 slash 24. Then we'll go into serial serial interface. We'll do encapsulation frame relay. Then we will create a point to point connection between